When you think of at-risk or endangered species, polar bears, elephants, and tigers might come to mind. But there's a smaller, yet no less vital species fighting a chronic disease as we speak. And its survival may be more important than it seems. I'm, I'm surprised it's not more well-known. Like, you don't really, you hear about, like, the big, like, popular animals like pandas are at risk and rhinos are at risk but um, it's very surprising that there are some like less charismatic animals that are also struggling that don't really get as much publicity. You probably see this and think that's a starfish but these organisms are called sea stars not starfish because they aren't fish. These are called chocolate chip sea stars. They've faced massive die-offs beginning in the 70s and then again in 2013 and continuing until today. Their most vital organs are housed in their arms, which tend to regenerate when severed. But sea star wasting disease prohibits their arms from growing back and recovering and kills the organism. It starts with lesions that eventually leads to deterioration and can lead to them losing arms and parts of their body. And eventually within a few days, the whole body's fragmented and the sea star uh, just wastes away. The disease is affecting sea stars along the North American Pacific coast and students here in the Midwest who are trying to learn about them. Classes like zoology and marine diversity use them for dissection. We've been getting a lot less lately. They're on back order often. We've limited how many we use because um, they're hard to get in that case. We used to do one per pair and now we've like, like if I could only get 50 of them and we have 20 sections, like I need to disperse them properly. They aren't officially endangered, but they are declining rapidly. About 40 species of sea stars have already been affected. Scientists believe a virus or warming water temperatures could be the culprit, but the cause is still not fully understood. A lot of people don't realize just how like one species can play such a huge role in an ecosystem and kind of keep control over it and keep it, uh, keep it stable. The loss of sea stars, even just a few species of them, could cause muscle overpopulation and lower biodiversity.